Hello YouTube community, my name is JackM13 and I am back here with some more Road to 20. However, this is post-commentary because like I mentioned in the last episode, uh, when I was recording the episodes 13 through 14, or 13, 13 through 15 rather, uh, some of the problems occurred in audio and in the video. There's no video uh, problems in this video, however, so episode 14 is pretty much flawless, other than the fact that it doesn't have my commentary. So I had to do this post-commentary over. Last time, if you came from uh, episode 13, I was talking about my uh, AP classes and all that other good nonsense. So uh, to finish the story up, the reason why I didn't take AP English, because I did try to. I just couldn't handle the workload. Honestly, I tried to do the summer work. It was really lazy, and I tried to do it the last second. And so uh, when I came back to school and all that, I had none of it done, and it, it just was going to be too much to try and come back from, in my opinion. So I just had you know, a lot on my plate at that moment. And I knew that I wanted to get into YouTube soon, because I was scheduling to get... Well, not scheduling. I was hoping to get a capture card for Christmas, which I ended up getting. Now, if you excuse me, I need to take a bite of this ice cream. And I really wanted to start up my YouTube channel. So... That's where that all went. I didn't take any AP classes other than AP History because my school only offered four for this year. AP English, which I tried and failed at because I was too lazy. AP History, which I did and did rather well in because I got a 710 on the SAT subject test if I'm allowed to give out that score. I'm really not sure if I should, but I just did, so whatever. And... Um, AP Chemistry was the other one, and I just didn't think I was going to be good enough at Chemistry. The teacher, honestly, is not my favorite, and I apparently was wrong because this round was pretty bad, too. If you came from the last episode, you know that I said that I probably did really well. Uh, but I didn't do very well at all. I think this might be it. I don't remember exactly which round, which game it was, but there's one of them that's really good. Anyway, so uh, AP Chemistry, I didn't like the teacher as much. She wasn't my style of teacher. Uh, her style of teaching is pretty much you have to find out everything for yourself, whereas she, she teaches stuff, yeah, but you have to find out a lot of stuff on your own, and that's just not me. So I didn't take AP Chemistry because I'm not really a big science person anyway. And then there's AP Calculus, which I was not allowed to take because I was still taking Honors Pre-Calculus, which you need to take before you can take Honors, or AP Calculus, rather. So that's where that whole situation went. I only had AP History, which I rather, did rather well in. And all the other APs I either didn't do because I was too lazy, or because uh, I merely could not. So, that's aside now. So, uh, we get to the next point. I actually have a notepad here of topics that I wanted to talk about. And a uh, YouTube dude is a uh, well-known YouTuber. You might not know him, uh, but he has a couple hundred thousand subscribers. And uh, I went and checked one of his videos as a suggested video from uh, Drifter's channel. Who, as I've also mentioned, is another well-known YouTuber. So, I went over to his channel, and he was doing like a, for first-time YouTubers, what you should try and do, tips and tricks and all that. And I sent a message, and what I meant to do was I meant to send the message straight to him, as in like a PM or something like that. However, he has it so that you cannot send messages to him unless he makes you a contact. Or maybe that's just how the system goes. I was not a contact, therefore I could not send him a message. And that sort of takes me off because I really wanted to send it privately to him. So what I was forced to do was make a comment on that video. And uh, I asked him if he would check out my channel, which is kind of a general request that most YouTubers do when they're starting off. They're like, hey, let's go to a big name channel and uh, try and get them to uh, watch our video. Well, sadly, uh, he has not done anything yet. And that was about a month ago. And... I know a big reason why is because he probably has streams of messages like that and he just deleted it as soon as he saw it. However, it kind of pisses me off because I really wasn't being the normal douchebag who was like, hey, check out my video, like it, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I was more or less like, you know, I know this isn't a great way to do it, but it's the only way, it's the only option I have left. And I was wondering if you'd check out my video and leave, you know, some sort of feedback. I want to know how I'm doing so that I can pr improve and, you know, get better at what I'm doing, which is kind of what his video was all about. And he sort of disregarded it, or he just hasn't gotten to see it yet. I don't know what the case is. Whatever the case may be, um, I really do not appreciate that. And it's not that I'm going to try to start anything with this YouTube dude guy, because I think that he's a good commentator. 
It's just the fact that I hate big name YouTubers, you know, not really paying as much attention to some of their fans in the comment section because they're so busy, which is something that I would like to have remedied because I know that there are people, you know, uh, Phantom Dart just 135, he has 3,000 some subscribers, and though not all of them comment, that's still quite a lot of subscribers to try and, you know, keep up with. And he does a very good job with it as far as I can see. So, you know, if you can do it with 3,000, you can do it with a couple hundred thousand. I would think it shouldn't be too bad. And then there's Drifter, who uh, he does quite a lot with his fans. I've seen many comments that have just been out of the blue answered by him. And, you know, it's really, it pleases me to see that some YouTube commentators do care about their fans more so that they can go to the comment section. But I understand that, you know, it's not easy to do. So, and I know that I'm kind of sounding like sort of repetitive and sort of uh, being a bit judgmental here. But, honest, I, I don't know what it is. It just sort of ticks me off that you know, I try to make a comment that is well-meaning and all that. And I'm trying to learn and it just gets disregarded. Maybe I need to wait a bit longer and he will answer it. Maybe I didn't word the comment correctly. Whatever the case may be. I hope that either it gets resolved soon, or that I can get some feedback from other people and I don't have to worry about it, so, whatever. So there's that out of the way, I just, I'm, I'm not trying to start a fight with YouTube, dude, I don't even, try not to take it that way, I'm just saying, I, I don't know exactly how to, I'm not disrespected, because I understand that he's probably not his fault, he probably didn't mean to, you know, just blow me off like that. Because he's not really blowing me off. Uh, he's got many thousands of fans, like I said. I understand where he's coming from. It just kind of ticks me off a little bit. The fact that, you know, I tried to do something, and because other people have ruined... I guess that's the better way of putting it. Not his fault. It's not YouTube's fault. It's more other people who have done, you know, spam comments and all that for channels. They kind of made it hard for YouTube commentators to check out the people who are like me and just trying to get some feedback. They don't want likes. They don't want subscribers. They just want feedback. So, we'll get that out of the way now. I, I hope that I didn't offend anybody who's a big fan of YouTube, dude. Because I like him, too. I don't watch him that often. But the uh, one video I saw showed that he was pretty good. Uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about, at the beginning of this video, uh, episode 13 and episode uh, 30 of the outtakes, or Smackdown Shut Your Mouth 30 outtakes video, whatever you want to call it, they all have a Cyberlink a trial version at the very top for like the first five seconds or whatever the video and that's because I've been trying out something very different in order to do these uh, post commentaries I've had to use an editing system and what it was originally designed for I mentioned I sorry I originally meant to get a uh, editing software so that I could edit the videos and spruce them up a bit and then I was like you know what I kinda want to do a, a shoutcast and I want to do it with a face cam well I tried that and that didn't work so then I got to the point where I was like, I'm just going to do post-commentary, and this system works for that too. So, uh, it had many different call, uh, not it had many different reasons for why I needed one, and it just so happened that the reason that I ended up using it was completely different from the reason that I originally got it. Um, for my honest opinion, and I'm not being paid for this review, I honestly don't really like Cyberlink. The trial version, at least. I'm sure that the original, you know, full-length version and all that, you know, that you have to pay for, I'm sure that that's all right, but I honestly don't like it. And here are the reasons why. I can't aud edit the audio, which I think is part of the original, you know, free, not free, the, you have to pay for the paid for a version. I think it has some uh, audio enhancing uh, settings or whatever the hell you want to call them. Because I noticed that in a lot of my videos, I have the volume up way too high or it's way too low or it's somewhere where it shouldn't be so I don't like that uh, the software in of itself is kind of mediocre in my opinion I mean it, it was somewhat hard to get used to at the beginning now I'm somewhat used to it and it's still not really the greatest in my opinion I've never tried anything else so I wouldn't really be able to compare it to anything else but honestly I don't think when I decide to get a editing software this is what I'm going to if you are into you doing YouTube videos, or if you're going to try YouTube videos, uh, get a free trial version of this if you want. Uh, honestly, it kind of is what I've used my... Uh, 
is what I've used for the last couple of videos that I've done. So if you like those more than you have any of the other videos I've done, go ahead and check it out and see if you like it. I'm not saying don't buy it because I said not to. I'm saying, you know, I really didn't like it. So that's just my opinion on the matter. So this was kind of just an experiment to see how I wanted to do editing and all that. And it turned out that the system that I thought, or the software rather, that I thought was the best, it, it wasn't nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. Like I said, it's not the full version, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. But I just don't like the interface as it is, even in pre-version. So, uh, As of late, I haven't done any sports games, which is what I basically plan to make this channel about. Sports games and the uh, WWE stuff. After watching a few other YouTubers, I've decided that WWE stuff is probably not going to fly. I wasn't even going to do 2K15 because I honestly haven't got a single wrestling game since 2K14, which was only last year, but um, I, I kind of grown out of the series. It's been pretty lackluster over the last few years. They've lost TK, uh, THQ, you know, so that was a big you know downside. Uh, and then... I think it was EA who took it over. I don't know who it is. I think it, because it's 2K, I think it's EA. Or whoever the hell does 2K sports games. But I guess it's 2K. Whatever the hell. Excuse me, i got to take another bite. Whoever it is that does 2K games. Which I think is 2K games. I'm just being stupid. but So I don't like that. And the games over the years have pretty much been the same thing. Just with a little bit of sprucing up. And honestly, I think I mentioned this in my uh, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth series. But they had so many possibilities that they could have done to make the games even better. But, because either A, it cost too much money. B, it was too much work to try and do in one year. Or C, the fact that it just was, you know, not profitable enough for them. Which I guess would kind of correlate with B. Whatever the case may be, they ended up not leaving in some of the things I thought would be more enjoyable, uh, i.e. being able to walk around, you know, as a character in uh, story mode. And in fact, they even got rid of story mode after, I think, 2K11. They just said, no, we're not going to do story mode anymore. And they had, like, a road to WrestleMania, which even that wasn't even a story mode. And then in 2K12, uh, 13, and, or, no, it was WWE12. And WWE 13, whatever the name is, I really don't care. In those games, they didn't even have that because I know in 13 they had like a, uh, a legend, you know, something that happened years ago. I can't remember exactly what they called it, but it was about all the WrestleManias and the big wrestling matches from uh, the Attitude Era. Excuse me again. So yeah, though I enjoyed some of that. Because I remember some of those moments watching them on uh, WW 24-7. I didn't really enjoy the game because it didn't have the story mode that I like. I, I like a good story mode. And though I don't really have any uh, RPG games that I you know could play, I would definitely like to get some more if I can find a good one. Because I think that uh, being immersed into a character like that and the storyline and all that, I think that would be really awesome for this channel. Because uh, it's a game that it's a style of game that I would really like to pursue. Sadly, like I said, I don't have any of those games, so I can't do that. However, uh, to get back to the original point that I was trying to make, this channel was based on uh, sports games and WWE games, more so the older games that I have. Um, however, I got a new uh, sports game, and because I have a PS4 and I haven't done any content with it, which I'll get to in a second, I decided I'm going to go ahead and get the new. And they'll be the show. Because I've seen my dad play the game. It's looked really good in the past years. I saw the commercials for it. And it looked really good for this new game. And I just couldn't imagine what they were going to do with the next gen stuff. So I was like, alright, this is going to be really awesome. I got to get this. So I got it uh, a couple days back. And it only came out, you know, maybe two, three weeks ago. So I'm not too far behind on it. I just, you know, didn't get it exactly when it came out. But, you know. I didn't need to really worry about that. I'm not a huge, big YouTuber that has to spend all the money to get the newest game so that they can get all the viewers to continue watching them. I'm just some random dude who's playing video games casually and just so happens to have a YouTube channel uh, 
centered around it. But I ended up buying that game and pre-ordering uh, UFC Undisputed or whatever the new game is that they have. So both of those games will be on this channel. Uh, the show will be more soon. It'll be soon. I'll get some video gameplay for that. Probably do like a creative a player or whatever they have. I don't know what the exact thing is. Might do a franchise mode. I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do with that just yet. So that's something to look forward to if you are interested in that. Uh, and like I said, I got the UFC thing, so that's something to look forward to if you're interested in that. I heard bad things that that could be a bit of a flop just by the fact that it's an EA game, and I know a lot of people don't like EA. So we're going to see how that takes, how that goes, and uh, hopefully. Uh, MLB The Show will be as good as I anticipated it would be. And I'll try and find a way to make that enjoyable because the last time I tried a baseball game, it was really, really difficult to play and commentate and entertain. So uh, hopefully I can fix that in some way, shape, or form. Uh, maybe having to do post commentary is what I'll have to do. I might have to get another editing system somewhere, some sorts, because I don't have one that it can do. The stuff that the Cyberlink's doing, which is, you know, multiple layered of uh, audio. So hopefully I can fix that all by uh, next time. And that also kind of brings me to my next point. With uh, Because of this experiment, I only got a 30-day free trial. And today, on the 25th of May, uh, that trial expires. So sadly, I will not be using this anymore after tonight. Episodes 14 and 15 are the priority. I'm going to be using them, uh, using the Cyberlink for those. Get feedback from you guys on whether or not you like the Cyberlink and if I should get it. Or um, I might try, you know, free trial of, I don't know, Sony Vegas or something like that. Something a bit, you know, higher quality. And see if that works. And if that doesn't work, then I got no clue exactly what I'm going to do. But I'll figure it out as I go along. I got the summer coming up, so I have plenty of time to do stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see how this channel will continue from here on out. And uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about on this video, which kind of leaves me dry for the next video on topics to talk about, but I'll find something, is I wanted to take a little bit of a break again before I go into you know the summer of just doing a whole bunch of recording and all that. And I wanted to watch all of my videos because I can't get any feedback from you guys. I haven't got enough fans right now to say, hey, Michael, you know, you're doing a really good job. Keep up the good work. Or, hey, Michael, you should probably try and fix this. Or, hey, Michael, you should probably get off of YouTube. I haven't gotten any of that yet. And I know exactly why. And I'll talk about that next episode because I'm kind of running out of time. Um, but, yeah, I haven't had a whole lot of feedback. I haven't had a whole lot of fans as of yet. Which is fine by me, because I'm just doing this for fun anyway. But uh, because I want to get better at it, so that if in the future I could, and here I find another piece of the Meteor, and I'm not sure if I pick it up or not. And this is the good gameplay, because I didn't get past round 10 except for on the game that I did really well on. So if you'll excuse me again, i got to take another bite. But yeah, I find all the pieces of the Meteor, and hopefully later on you'll get, you guys will get to hear the uh, song that plays, and I'll try and be absolutely quiet for it, I'll have to remember where that is, so that uh, you guys can just listen to that, because I honestly think it's a really good song myself. Uh, we're coming to the end on this video here, and I just wanted to kind of close it out, so um, how I'm going to do that is, I don't really know, I'm probably just going to uh, let the video close itself out. Thank you very much for joining me on this episode, for episode 14. Please join me in again for next episode on episode 15, and we shall be on round 11 for the next video. This has been the Jackhammer13, and I am signing out. See you guys later.